Ah, the smell of fresh race kits. Race packages, swag bags, those goodie bags at races that everyone looks forward to receiving. Nat and Patricia are busy putting them together, making sure that every kit has the right jerseys and gear. She's also going over some last minute updates with a few awesome volunteers. In addition to the awesome volunteers are the awesome sponsors that keep this race going. One such sponsor who you've met previously is Karma Farming, located in Kelowna. One of the events we're sponsoring this year is Expedition Canada and we love to sponsor them because they are focused on being outdoors and living healthy life and pushing yourselves to your limits and Okanagan's all about outdoor living and so we're very excited to support them. So our family has been farming in Kelowna for about 30 years now and uh, we just wanted to add to their legacy and make something out of, out of the product that we grow and that's how Farming Karma came about. We love to give back to our community through our Do Good initiative. Uh, we donate either our product or our time to causes that are working towards making our community a better place. It goes back to the whole concept of karma, where you do good and good comes back to you. good at navigating with a map at campus you may be doing way more than 580k over the course um, they have six days to finish that course the fastest team we expect them to finish in three three and a half days maybe with maybe two hours of sleep total uh, the slowest team may take up to four hours a night uh, sleep uh, and we'll finish in six and a half days or so with the prologue and race day getting ever so closer, there are a few things left to tidy up. One very important thing is timing the canyoning section to make sure that there are no bottlenecks and that teams can make it through smoothly. So the aim of today is to check how long it's gonna take for four teams and if four teams is kind of manageable in the canyon, right? Mm -hmm. And then, so our aim was to have four teams at a time maximum in the canyon, which oh, means- How big is a team again? Team of four. I've okay. got one team of two. Let's train for four because that's what we get all the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the whole day. So. Yeah, yeah. Most, most <coughs> so today you guys are competitors. Uh, you make teams of four, and we'll see how many we get. But we should get team four. Of okay, let's do the teams. We're going onto the approach trail down into it. It is a very skinny trail, you can't see much, and there's a couple different offshoots that you might want to take. Don't. We're going to stay in a single file line. You're going to follow me. We're going to take the path that we want to take, and we're not going to impact the environment any more than we have to. Everyone good with that?
groups. That's everybody. Nice. We got everybody. Yeah. That's what? really good. Or is there more work to be done? Uh, that's really good. I've got 206 from the moment we started walking there and we stopped to have a few chats that would not happen during the thing. Yeah. But that's 206 for four groups. <laughs> It was perfect until the first drop. They arrived at the first drop and boom, FX was free. Yeah, but our first one was, too, was slow because we went down. Yeah, but the next group were well, really nice. Then. No, FX, you got the group coming and it was no, perfect. No, no, like the few things I think for, for making things better is A, giving somebody's teaching a little bit out of walk in the water so we'll move oh, people. To this is so on the 21st. Yeah, that okay, you perfect. can do that. Okay, perfect. Uh, the second thing, it will be on those lines to get to me. Uh, just say, as soon as somebody's like moving down, don't wait for me to turn around and go. Just move, right? So just kind of clip yourself. Yeah. That's the speech yeah. also on the 20th. Yeah. 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 Teach them to go on hand line. Okay, perfect. Canyoning set. Now to the start of the race at Kiefer Lake Lodge to place the first few CPs with teammate Pete. So what's our game plan? Um, I think it makes sense to hit, um, what do we got? Two, four, five. So f the five checkpoints we got to place in, in clockwise order. Uh, probably just like the easiest climbing up this ridge line and then we can drop elevation fast um, rather than the vice versa, especially not knowing what conditions are in the, in the trees there. I mean, <laughs> We're just under 1800 meters and we are just under a kilometer, just yeah, maybe 1200 meters till our first checkpoint. So, where are we on your map? We are right here. We are pretty much not quite done, but almost done with the first climb. Woo! We don't have the elevation for today. This is Peter, a fearful leader. Not fearful, fear, fearless. <laughs> oh. So far, we haven't used the snowshoes. We're pretty happy about this. But we don't want to jinx it. Because really, who wants to snowshoe in May? CP6 complete. <laughs> the pit was king. Woo! We've had skis. Woo! All right. This is the pit. A ski is ski drawing. It is not ski drawing. What is it? Look at the block. As the day got on and the sun began to warm the snow, strapping on snowshoes was inevitable. We have a bit less than 200 meters left to climb to the top of this second peak. But we're gonna place CP3 first on the way. 
And there we up. CP3. Little uh, on the fly adjustment to the location. It's a little bit I think, convoluted initially, but. Um, it's becoming red, red tree. tree. Red tree at the top because. Because the first description was a bit too vague with so much snow on the ground. The under bush is not there. And so the clearing that was there before, you can't see it because everything is pretty clear. There you go. Why should I put it? Oh, any of these trees are pretty happy. Oh, how did they look at? We gotta put it too. Okay. I want to be back. Are you gonna hold or are you gonna die? I think he's pretty strong. He just needs to hold for a week. And then you can die. If you want. Oh, look at that. That's cute. A nice little bow. <laughs> Double bow. <laughs> Ta da! Super cute. Oh yeah. One to go. So we are keeping our eyes out. Right, we we're about to descend right down here. And uh, on our way down, I started hearing scratch, scratch, scratch in the trees. And a tiny little baby cub was crawling up the tree. So we kind of deviated our route and started making a bunch of noise. And we did see Mama down the hill as well. Um, she didn't look too concerned, but we thought we would show her some respect. So now we're placing the around and we're placing uh, CP number one. And we have rain. this right in our hand, ready to not spray ourselves. And uh, I thought Natalie said that she <laughs> has it out, so she's going to spray some on herself. <laughs> and I freaked out. She's like, no, it's not bear spray like bug spray. <laughs> What I said was, I took the protection off. I'm hoping I'm not going to spray myself. Lost anyway, in country. Checkpoint number one. Checkpoint number one. Cabin at the creek. It's beautiful. Six hours 26, that was really good. We've, uh, we think that was about 3k that we asked you to do from from where we turned from Holmes Lake and back. So that would be, uh, and then I just need to walk. I would walk over there if you guys can drive both truck stuff. Sure. Uh, just so I can finish recording that. Um, but yeah, that would be so much quicker than expected. So I think, yeah, seven. Seven six. hours for fastest. I don't know about two hours. We're at six twenty-six now. We've got like like that, that walk is five minutes. Okay. So and they'll probably they'll be running it anyway, right? Yeah, start. It's thirty, and then like three k. Okay. So yeah, maybe seven hours for the fastest if it stays in this condition. It it's could really get better. It could get worse. That's yeah. Because if the snow melts a bit, we can run that road. Yep. Otherwise, we will walk it and kind of take an hour. Yeah. Um. But then if it melts too much, then all the is going to come out. And then it's going to be Being the undergrowth, the yeah, sticks the undergrowth. that are like hard yeah. to walk through. Yeah, but that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. I got to translate. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. All right, I'm going to give the radio back and then uh, we're out of here. Okay, hey, remember that bike section that was impassable? Well, Nat found a way through, and we're headed on over to test that section with the same crew. There's a lot of snow up there still, huh? Did you see? What are we looking at? There's a lot of snow on there. Yeah, that's Silver Star, hey? That's Silver Star? Yeah. Yeah, Silver Star is still uh, under snow. I think we could do it in five. What? No way! Why not? No. No, no. Okay. 96k with like 2,800 meters. Five hours? Five and a half. That's pretentious. Not with me. We did 45k 
worth 1100 in 245 yesterday. Yeah. Give it a sink attack. Well, see, she's already attacking. Bye, Joel. Wrong feet. We stood up. Ready to go up. We've done 27 k. We may have about 70 left or just under. But we've only done 300 meters of climbing. And we'll have about 2300 left. Maybe. We are a massive one. What? Let's get after it. Yeah. Oops. Bye. The duo was now somewhere deep in the Kalamaka forest, without a doubt, playing hike a bike. Way better. Did you see the barbed wire? I rode like a centimeter from it. It was on the ground, on the way down. No, I didn't see that at all. Oh, get out of my helmet! Get out of my helmet! What is it? I don't know if it was a bee or just a big fly. There's one single track that I really loved, Fluvid, and then there's one part that I don't think I should have gone down, but I did. And then that freaked me out for the rest of the ride. Ugh. Brain freeze. Oh, and I drank yellow water too. Oh, uh, it was slightly yellow. Mm. Oh. Yeah, because it was yellow before we put the uh, noon in. <laughs> Hot head, cold water. What do you have? Oh, it is a climb there. Oh, that's all the climb. It's only 2.7k and at least like. 125 meters. That's not a lot. Uh, we're going to. That's like only first look at a Knox. We're going to 14, 1430. Yeah. That's 150 meters. Uh, we're at 13 right now. We're at 12, 1280. I got 1293. 
Already? We've been talking in knocks <laughs> since the start of the game. Two knocks is an elevation gain. We only have like two and a half knocks left on this climb. Only to the first like look out now. <laughs> okay, now two more knocks. Two more knocks. <laughs> for those of you as confused as I was, Knox is a local mountain for these two. 37.4 on my clock. What? That's nothing. Oh, I'm just talking. Out loud. Okay, that's the best. This is because like I was kind of shooting and like push the bike again. Oh. Where's she going? Okay. She's walking her bike, I guess. Alright. I'm gonna ride my bike. She likes to take her bike for walks. I like to ride mine. Are we sure that's the trail? Uh, yeah. I thought the HRT goes that way. Which way? That's right behind that. Oh, yeah, there. that's where it comes out. Okay. So we could have come out there. Because doesn't it come there as well? Where? It comes out from here as well. You sure? That looks like a pond. No, no, yeah, I know, it's a bit of a ditch, but there is actually, uh, blazes. What's happening? No, yeah, no, that's it for sure. Okay. <laughs> You're psyching me out, Joel. Well, no, I just want you to be sure, because I thought that was just cattle shit. Oh, I didn't think yeah. it was part of the HRT. Psyching me out. Okay. All right, man. Unless there's that it up there. That's it up there, I bet you. Yeah, it's totally up there. I'm just gonna start riding. Let's have fun. Look at mine, Natalie! This is not the high rim. No, it's over here. Last section checked and just in time because we've got race checks for gear and skills up next. Penticton, a city branding itself as almost fuel free, wedged between the Okanagan and Skaha lakes, this city boasts more vineyards per square kilometer than most places in the world, and the opportunity for outdoor adventure at almost every turn. This year, Penticton is the host city for Expedition Canada, and the location of the finish, so gear checks, captain meetings, prologues, and opening ceremonies are all being held right here. Wow, man. On est impatient de courir, impatient de, de voir les autres équipes qu'on ne connaît pas, parce qu'on euh, les rencontre peu en Europe ou pas. Euh, on connaît euh, les Américains, les Ben Racing, donc voilà, on, ça va être vraiment super. Je pense que les paysages seront vraiment géniaux. On est vraiment impatient d'aller courir euh, pendant ces trois jours, euh, ces trois jours de course. Weather's looking a little iffy right now, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, we're, we're prepped and looking excited. Like the trump card that she is, Mother Nature had other plans for the boat proficiency check. Thunder and lightning forced the team to take it indoors. That was good. No problem. We won. <laughs> we were, we were, fast. We were the fastest guys. for sure. No. We had more style getting into the boat. <laughs> style points. <laughs> Yeah. My, dry, my dry suit mostly works. I think it's a dry-ish suit. <laughs> dry. <laughs> You'll find out on the water. Now for the prologue, the mini race before the big one. 
This mini race gives competitors a chance to experience the host city and participate in a few fun activities provided by local businesses, and it was off to a soggy start. East Wind was one of the first teams to hit the high ropes course at Local Landing Adventure Park. Doing the prologue here. Silva, Rocky Mountain AR, hanging out. Uh, we got Dawn up in the high ropes here right now. She's killing it, trying to look for a secret word. She's just whizzing through here. It's incredible how fast she's going. Done, uh, yeah, dip, dip for sure. I don't know, man. Yeah. No, it's not all just in the arms. Go, go for the gray one. Go for the gray one. The gray one. Whoa. Yay! Good job. We're waiting for our teams to come back from the prologue. They had to go and taste some ice cream some beers at a cannery and did a little fun ropey section and, uh, and climbing section. And, uh, and we also went to uh, travel Penticton, um, visit Penticton to have some pictures taken and a little game of throwing stuff. Uh, that was super fun. So yeah, we have, how many teams do we have back in? Six, seven, eight. We have eight teams that are back, so we're waiting for 12 of us. And who's this? This is Diane, our awesome volunteer. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Prologue complete. The rain won, and now it's over to the host hotel for a quick captain's meeting, gear weigh-in, and then off to the opening ceremonies at the SS Sycamus. Oh! But enough with the pleasantries, Nat. Let's get to race start. Up next. Yeah,